Yo, let, let, let's keep this thing in the NBA. Matter of fact, okay. yeah, I guess we could, I could say keep it in the NBA because um, his pops was in the NBA. Marcus Jordan. Dayton lost to Pippen. That that name Pippen. Don't get me triggered. It's synonymous with Jordan. Yeah. And now it's synonymous with Jordan for all the wrong reasons. You know, them two is now on a publicity tour. Marcus Jordan said, yo, when we get married, I want my father to be the best man. I was the best man at his wedding. And he going to be the best man at mine. Is this disrespectful? Or is it, yo, you know what? That's my pops. I want him to be my best man. He my best friend. I was the best man at his wedding. Why not? Or should we be looking at this like, yo, this is as disrespectful as you can get? Uh, Larsa Pippen is embodies everything that's wrong with these women these days. There's two billion dicks you could have chose from, baby. <laughs> two billion dicks that you could have chose from. And you go get your ex-husband's baby boy. A nigga that you probably saw in Pampers. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, my, my guess is she probably wanted Mike, but Mike ain't want that cat back then. She probably was <laughs> Mike back then, but Mike ain't had time for it. And so, you know, she just waited her turn. And, and you know, and, and, and so I want to flip it. Had it been another way, had it been a man waiting on a little girl to come of age so he can have sex with her. You feel what I'm saying? That he would be the, he would be the terror, he would be a predator. He would, R. Kelly! Okay? Let's call her what it is. She R. what it is. Lots of Pippin and R. Kelly. You feel what I'm saying? She wait. She waited for this boy to become a man and want to take advantage of him. Unfortunately, Marcus ain't have enough game. Ain't nobody put him on game about how to deal with these goddamn women. And so you know, she got two billion dicks she could have choose from, and she gonna go go date a goddamn ex husband, her, her little nephew. You know what I'm saying? It just goes to show, like you know, what I mean, like because if a man had did that. We would, you know, it'd be in the news that he'd be a predator. He's a rapist. He's a weirdo. He's a suck sicko and everything like that. And it, it, it's just sad that women get a pass when, in actuality, it is just as sick. It is no just question. as sick as what our Kelly did. No it question. is just as sick. You get what I'm saying? She just waited her turn. She just waited her turn, brother. If our Kelly would have waited four or five years, he would have been in the same predicament as, as Larson. She just waited. R. Kelly just went in. When <laughs> they, they coming over, they coming over for family events and stuff or whatever. And they, the kids out there playing basketball and shit. And she over there looking at this little boy, just so she can. I'm gonna tell you what she did though. She probably blew in the booty or something. Did get some did some shit he ain't never had. She probably did some freaky shit to his ass, bro. <laughs> Marcus ain't never. You know what I'm saying? See, I, I'm gonna tell you all Marcus got to do. Bro, go to the south side of any city and find a big booty chick named Keisha, and she gonna set him straight. He need to get some real, a real woman, a real chick from the, cause you could tell he wet behind the ears, man. Shot to took advantage of that boy. That boy didn't have a silver spoon in his mouth. He ain't been around no real shit, no real niggas, and no real women. You feel what I'm saying? So this girl come over here with this goddamn LA lifestyle with that old ass cat. Don't, don't know all the tricks. She probably been throwing that slang. You know, Future been fucking her with the Gucci flip flops for forever. So she done smoked out half the industry. This bitch knows some shit. And then she gonna do this shit to this little boy? And he ain't never had no real piece of cat? Yeah, of course she gonna blow his mind. He over here cuffing. He gonna be in the next Future song. I already know Pluto going to, he gearing up. He gearing up for it. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Yeah, like, come on, man. And so, you know, it's just, it's just unfortunate because it's like, you know, that man has the rest of his life ahead of him, bro. You, bro, go, go, go live, bro. You, it's so much other women and beautiful women and peaceful women and, and successful women that you could deal, bro. You're Michael Jordan. So you are the heir to the throne, my boy. You know what I'm saying? You go, like, bro, you going literally in your backyard? You go fuck unk wife? You go fuck unk wife? You go fuck future side bitch? Why? Bro, I know plenty of goddamn beautiful girls 
that's that's way younger, submissive, beautiful, that ain't got half the industry bodies that Shawty got and didn't play basketball with your daddy. So, you know, uh, I believe she the predator, man. She 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 preyed on that boy's uh you know, she preyed on that boy's innocence and she preyed on that boy's uh you know, just just lack of game. He 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 ain't Mike ain't give him no game, man. Mike just get that boy whatever he want. He been able to he he didn't had a silver spoon in his mouth. He got whatever he wanted as a kid and you know what I'm saying? He was just, you know, he probably, you know, just intrigued with goddamn Uncle Scotty wife when he was a kid and soon as he got up big enough, yeah, you could have smashed the dog, but go marry him. That's and you think talk. Mike might have said, nah, bro, man, because we gonna cause real niggas gonna real niggas would never. Mike ain't about to come to that way. We're gonna stop buying Jordans. We'll stop buying Jordans. Man, I see Mike goddamn uh co-sign that bullshit. I man, I don't wanna buy no Jordans no more. Real niggas ain't about to stand for that, bro. Uh-uh, nah, man. Ain't gonna fuck around, make me buy some Adidas or some shit, man. No. Mike, you better not. You need to tell that nigga to goddamn chill out. All Mike need to do is sit back, chill, be Michael Jordan, and shut the fuck up. And so let us buy the same pair of shoes that we had in fifth grade. Over and fifth over. Grade. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to tell you something, Nietzsche, and this is real talk. I just looked it up when you were talking. He 32 years old. She 49. All things considered, this dude is a, this is a grown-ass man right here. Yeah, this for sure. Dude, this dude is a grown man. And you started off by saying, out of the two billion dicks out there, she chose him. That ain't no accident. But what is mind-boggling to me is, my brother, your last name is Jordan. Yeah, like, like, understand the intrinsic value that you have just in your birthright. You are the heir to the throne. You are the oldest. You are Marcus Jordan. And out of the two billion women out there who would love for you to choose them, you choose this 49-year-old woman who, to your point, was future side chick. She was sleeping with Beasley, who later played ball with her son. This is the woman that you want to put a ring on? I'm so, like Auntie Larsa. That's what she is. She auntie. He fucking his auntie, bro. He fucking his auntie. That's her nephew. But she, but she, I could understand, right? And I get it. That's Auntie Larsa. I can understand if Auntie Larsa was, yo, truth be told, when she was with Scotty, she was every bit of a wife. I ain't never heard nothing about her. I ain't never heard that she was out there sleeping with other NBA ballers. I never heard nothing. She said that she was giving the box to, to Scotty four times a day. No. She clearly had nothing else to do in her life but be the perfect wife. But after they divorced, all you heard was her. The whole came out. Everything she missed in her 20s, she made up for it in her 40s. And this is who you once choose again, to fight. I'm so, come on. And once again, we've been saying it all, 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 all interview. When you bring that type of energy into the house, once, once they're not comfortable, they're going to go back to what they know. She was a hoe when she married, probably married Scotty, bro. But you know what? He had her up there, posted up. All she had to do was do hoe shit for him. Hey, well, I can just be a hoe for you and fuck you four times a, a day because I really want to be a hoe, but you're making it very comfortable for me in this big-ass house and my kids is good, so I'll just hoe for you. But as soon as me and you split, guess what she's about to go right back and do, bro? She's, it's in her nature. She's going to back and she's going to go back and hoe. And that's exactly what she did. She is a high-value hoe. High-value. I mean, you just hit the nail on the head. You just hit the nail on the head. Auntie the Larsa. The only thing different from her is she's high value. She, she's on the housewives, and she has been rich for the better part of her life because she got married to Scotty when I think she was 23, got with him when she was 21. Yep. Her talents ah. are. You suck a dick. 
That's <laughs> Auntie Larsa, though. That's Auntie Larsa. I mean, you, but here's the deal, and this is as real as I could put it. I know we've been we've been um joking. I'm all for, you know, find living your truth and, and, and finding that person that you're compatible with. If this is the person for him and he can look past her past and he can look past, because right now, if it was Sean, I'd be scared to death, man. It ain't no accident that you only just happened to mess with high value dudes. You knew who the hell I was. You, you, you knew who the hell I was. You know my last name. You know my father is is a billionaire three times over. I, I don't think it's no accident that she chose him. Real talk. But I digress. If they're happy, it is what it is. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.